Hi everyone and I hope you all are doing well. My name is Carolina and I typically post videos on luxury and contemporary handbags and SLGs. So if that is something you are interested in, I hope you consider subscribing. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick update on three SLGs that I purchased earlier this year from Polen and whether I still think they are worth it um, to show you quickly the wear and tear and stuff like that and let you guys know which ones I still recommend and which ones I would say maybe are not worth it. So the first SLG Netti, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is how the um, card holder looks. I do have the little tags in here. So I think this is still really a great um, card holder. It is on the bulkier side. So I would keep that in mind if you are looking for something slimmer, this might not be for you. It is pretty bulky. You do though have the option to attach this to your keys. And there is a lot of attention to detail. I don't know if you'll see, but there is the Polen engraving here. I'm sorry, I'm filming with my um, phone because my camera's dead right now, so I'm trying to charge to that. But as far as wear and tear on this, I don't see too, too much wear and tear as far as like frayed stitches or anything like that. And I did pack this to the brim. The only wear and tear I would say on this, and I'm not sure if my phone will even pick it up, but as you could see, like right here, there is a little bit of peeling and you can see it here as well in this spot right here. So that's the only real issue I would say say I noticed with this piece there's some more wear here and it's weird because some of these like grain spots like this one does have glazing but on this one as you can see there is no glazing so I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's just the top portion has the glazing just for reinforcement. I don't know. But um, the back does not have any of that peeling going on. The bottom looks perfect. The side, it's just these three, I believe, or maybe even four. And I apologize if you hear my cat, but um, it's just this one, this one, this one right here, and this that has that wear. Okay. But overall, everything else looks really really good there's no wear or like rubbing on the interior the flap and the logo are still really good um you have that center compartment right here 
the back compartment. Yeah, so I don't see any stitches loose or any fraying on the stitches. There is a little bit of a scuff to the glazing here, but that's probably from me overstuffing it and like nicking it with my nail or something like that. The only wear again is to this here. So it's here a little bit, here, here, and here. But again, I don't think you guys will be able to see that. But overall, I would definitely still recommend this card holder. If you don't mind something a little bit bulkier, I would definitely purchase another one for myself personally. I believe this is priced at like under $200. So I still think this is worth it in my opinion. Um, and I know I think they're currently out of stock in most of the colors, but I would definitely still pick another color up. I did like the light blue color as well as the black. So this is a card holder I definitely would still recommend from Pull One. The next one that I unboxed was the Atla. So this is the card holder. And if you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I was obsessed with this card holder. I absolutely love it. You have several card slots on the back. You have the zip compartment right here that has a kind of like linen or something like that lining. You have a little bit of um, leather preventing things from falling out and you have the leather zipper pull this one I don't really think I have any wear and tear on this and I've used this so much like I've worn this for months on end and there's really nowhere, there's no stitch loose. The only thing I would say is there's just a little bit of, um, I don't even know if you'll be able to see tarnishing on this part and um, right here. But other than that, this has held up really well. I have overstuffed this. I have thrown this around from purse to purse and I have not had any issues. This was rubbing up against other items in my bag and there's no scratches to the smooth leather. So this is definitely a card holder I would definitely pick up. I think this is also under $200. And I think it is worth every penny. And I would definitely get this in other colors personally. So this I do still recommend. The last um, card holder or like pouch, I think is the technical name on this is the Pouch Mini Sierra. Now this one is I think $95. And I mean, you could definitely feel the quality difference like between these two or these. I mean, this one is a little flimsier, but it's because it's woven the way it is. Whereas this is very sturdy. This like, as you can see, this is very sturdy. This is very malleable. It's very flimsy. So this one is one I had 
kind of the most wear, I guess I would say. Still not a lot of wear, where it's like, I would say it's not worth purchasing if you are interested in this, but I didn't wear this too much and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but there's like glue residue coming off. There is a loose stitch right here that just like popped off. Um, there is some glue residue, I'm not sure if you'll see, on the edge right here. But nothing too, too horrible in my opinion. Let me see. Um, the interior is also that kind of like, I don't even know what kind of material this is because it seems, I guess maybe a linen material. There is a little bit, I don't think the camera will pick it up though. There is some like glazing, um, peeling there. But again, this was I think $95. So for that price, I don't think the amount of wear is horrendous. However, I would keep that in mind if you are looking at these three. Um, I think currently the last time I checked the Sierra was the only one that was still in stock. Everything else out of the Atla and the Netty were currently out of stock and like you had to put in your information to be notified once it is back in stock. But personally I, although I do like this, um, you do have the one card slot if you needed like your license or your debit card you could easily fit that in here and then you also have the zip compartment which fits more cards in the back this back is not a card slot that was something i was under the impression of when i was purchasing this so just keep that in mind if you are looking at this um, this is not a car slot. This is just for design purposes. So personally, if you guys wanted my opinion on which ones I would still recommend, if you want something that's cheaper, um, that might have some wear and tear on it with use. I didn't use this a lot when the wear and tear started, so just please keep that in mind. I don't know if it's just my particular one, but this one, in my opinion, will get a little bit more wear and tear, whereas these two, I think, are the better options, in my opinion. I feel like I would rather spend the $100 more to get one of these, especially this one. This one, I think, is superior out of all three of these um this one again i love it but there is that like i don't know if you would even call it glazing or just peeling over here of the leather whereas this one has really no wear on it so personally my favorite out of these three hands down is the atla I would purchase this time and time again. I think if you want something similar to the Louis Vuitton coin card holder, but at a fraction of the price, this is it. I have the Louis Vuitton coin card holder, and I find I use this more than the Louis Vuitton one. Um, this one, the Netty is also a great card holder in my opinion. The only issue is, again, it is a little bit chunkier as you can see. And also just the slight rubbing and peeling that I would just want you guys to be mindful of. Again, it could just be mine, but I just did want to disclose the kind of wear and tear that these items do get. 
So I hope this video was informative. If you are looking at any of these items, I definitely do recommend these. Um, however, my favorite, and I apologize, my dog just walked into the camera. Um, my favorite is the Atwa, and I would definitely get more colors of this one as well as more colors of the Netty, but the Atla definitely would be the next purchase I would get if it was in stock. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.